My name is Rada Dagger. I'm an assistant professor of Health Services Administration at the University of Maryland School of Public Health. So we recently published a study in the Journal of Health Politics, Policy, and Law that looked at um, the duration of leave from work after childbirth and women's postpartum health. Postpartum depression is a form of depression that affects 10 to 15 percent of women after childbirth and its symptoms may range from as mild as fatigue and insomnia to thoughts of suicide. So what I found is that um, the amount of leave that the mother took after childbirth had a protective effect on her um, risk of postpartum depression up to six months after childbirth. This year actually is the uh, 20th anniversary of the Family and Medical Leave Act, uh, which was the first federal policy in the United States to mandate uh, a federal leave benefit to employees. Uh, the only problem was that uh, it didn't cover everybody. It only covered employees for companies with 50 or more employees. And those who have worked 1,250 hours in the year before they take the leave. So it prevented a lot of people from being covered, especially women who, are, who usually work for smaller workplaces. This basically makes the United States the only industrialized country in, in the world who does not have a paid leave benefit. This study is unique in that it specified the amount of time where um, leave from work would be beneficial after childbirth, which is six months. Um, other studies have shown that uh, more leave may be uh, related to less depression, but it did not specify a time period.